What up YouTube, GamingGrew91 here, and this is the second part of the mini-series on the how to tutorials for NHL 14, and today it's going to be the one-timer video, so personally for one-timers, what I like to do is, I and this is just, I, I usually make my videos centered around Ultimate Team, but this can be around any type of game mode in NHL 14, so what I like to do is, I like to have a left-handed player, so for example here, if I get uh, Kalorn as a center and St. Louis as a right winger I really do like that because I like to have the handiness opposite to the side so for example if I'm coming down the lane I can just straight up just just go like that get a nice pass through and go for a one-timer right so here I'll give you an example of one so here I'll, I'll come down the lane and I was the way from to kind of lean into it but because this is not an in-game situation it's a little different but one-timers can work like many different ways here you get a cross crease one-timer and right here you get back another cross crease oh that's bad pass but right there, so you get another cross crease one timer. And so these are just some, this is a, a small example of what we can do. So right now, this is just a, the, like the rushing, like the rush one timer. Like if you're coming down on a rush, like a two on one, which is the reason why I'm using the two on one here. Just gonna let him go. The two on one for me is the most accurate way to practice because a lot of times when you're playing, and I find this in Ultimate Team most of the time, you do get a lot of odd man rushes and stuff, so uh, let's let him go, come on guys. You do, you do get a lot of odd man rushes, I do notice that personally, uh, comment if that's what you see as well, because I notice a lot of times I'll be coming down the lane, and I'll get these kind of wrist shots, or sorry, not wrist shots, one timers. So right here, St. Louis, oh, I was trying to feed, feed Kalorn. So now I'll get back to St. Louis, and see right there. So one timers, I think, are the most effective way to score next to a breakaway, of course. See right, these are nice one timers, but again, Bishop is a solid goaltender. Uh, see right here, he'll come on me, and yeah, see, so these are kind of one time I'm talking about. So now instead of showing you, so right now I'll I'll uh, go with uh, the in zone offensive cross crease one timer. So right here, so that was good defense. I should have passed that earlier, but I showed you guys the the rush where all you do is you just kind of come down here. So this is just the rush one again. Just go over one more time. That's the rush. And this is now the end zone one where you kind of just set up, wait for the guy to show up, and then there you go. You're in business. Especially when you have a power play. Power play, by the way, best time to capitalize on a one-timer. So right here, see, even though he's on me, I'm still going to get these passes through. So right here, the end zone offense. This is personally my favorite way to uh, score on end zone offense. Because I hate when uh, I'm playing and people just like skate around like this. I do it sometimes, obviously, because you got to score, right? But I hate when people try to score cheap goals against us. Or not, or not, uh, sorry, me, I mean, sorry. But here, again, the end zone offense, wait for him to set up, and then right here, you see him. There we go. So next, I'm gonna run the, what kind of one timer is Oh, the, uh, see, I kinda wanna run a point one timer, cause I wanna show you guys how to run it from the point, but this is just the easiest way to run a simple, uh, two man, uh, Without like uh, a full team, I mean, like a two-on-one fast break kind of thing, or even an end-zone one, you can run like this. So yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on how to uh, use the one-timer and the fast break as well as in the end-zone offense. And uh, hope this guy, hope this helped you guys out. Comment on what you guys want to see next. Uh, like if this did help you out, and subscribe for more NHL videos. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys, peace.